Hello everybody and welcome. This is Tushar Chande. We know as traders that the markets are moving faster and faster every year. So one of the problems with using a moving average, whether a simple moving average or an exponential moving average, is we have to specify a length. And what length should you pick? My original solution was to make adaptive moving averages, which I invented almost 30 years ago, but they only adapt the effective length. Now, I've gone a step further by developing the fully adaptive moving average FEMA. FEMA responds faster to price changes than the equivalent EMA by using volatility to automatically adjust both the effective length and the offset. So let's dive in and see how it works. This is daily data for Boeing and we have three lines on the chart. The black line is the five day EMA with the five day offset. The red line is the 30-day EMA with a 9-day offset. And the peach dotted line is FEMA, where the length varies between 5 and 30 days, and the offset varies between 5 and 9 days to compare itself to the two lines on the chart. Of course, you can set any values you want here. Notice that when Boeing was rising rapidly, FEMA behaved like a 5-day EMA with a 5-day offset. Whereas in this area of consolidation, FEMA behaved like a 30-day moving average with a 9-day offset. So this chart shows adaptation along two lines or two axes, the length from 5 days to 30 days and the offset from 5 days to 9 days. This slide illustrates that the FEMA bands have the opposite behavior to the traditional EMA bands. When prices are moving strongly, the FEMA bands are narrower, but the EMA bands are wider. When prices are moving sideways in a narrow range, the EMA bands are narrower, but the FEMA bands are wider. So you can take advantage of this behavior. The first application for FEMA is as a trailing stop. Here we have daily data for Boeing. When prices were falling rapidly, FEMA kept up by taking giant steps to keep up with the declining prices. Similarly, when prices were rising quickly, FEMA kept up beautifully and took larger steps or smaller steps dictated by price action. A second application of FEMA is filtering with ATR bands. So here we have plotted FEMA with a default 1x ATR bands. And you can see two things. First, when prices are outside the bands, we can use trend following strategies. So breakouts can be spotted earlier and more clearly. Secondly, when the prices are in a trading range, the FEMA bands are wider. So you can use them to make counter trend trading strategies. Here we have Boeing daily data but we've plotted two sets of bands, 1x and 2x. There are two advantages here. Again, the breakouts are very easy to see and we can use trend following strategies. And during a wide trading range, we can use the bands to set up counter trend strategies. So you could buy near the lower bands and sell near the higher bands with of course appropriate risk control, or you can do the reverse. You can go short when it goes below the inner band or go long when it goes above the inner band. So it's really your choice in terms of setting up the trading strategies. So this chart summarizes the effects of filtering and why filtering can be very valuable using bands. I have about 1000 bars of daily data. With a 1x multiplier, 49% of the bars were fully outside the bands, which means that the low was above the outer band and the high was below the lower band. When I changed the width to 2x, this dropped by about half to 22%. And when I shifted the bands to 3x, it dropped again by half to about 11%. So conclusion is that ATR bands are powerful filters to help you focus your trading strategies. For short-term traders, I have a five minute spy chart with three sets of ATR bands. So we have the 1x bands 
the two X bands and the three X bands. And I've also overlaid the chats indicator. Clearly, when prices are outside the bands, trend following strategies can be employed. And in this sell off, the chats indicator is painting the candles purple to show that this is a strong downtrend. If you wanted to use the two X bands for counter trend trading, you could, for example, buy when they cross over the two X or go short at the upper 2x band but then you can use a 3x band for risk control so if you went short here and the market kept going higher you could use a 3x band as a risk control mechanism to exit your trade conversely as we are here if you have the market falling below the lower band and then reversing then you could either use the 3x band or the 2x band for stop and reverse. So you could use 3x to stop out and the 2x band to reverse and so forth. So bands allow you to customize the trading strategy to your trading preferences. For completeness, I, I analyzed about 800 five minute bars on SPY data to understand the effect of filtering. At 1x, fully 41% of the bars were outside the bands that is the low was higher than the upper band or the high was below the lower band with 2x it dropped by about a half to 22 percent and with 3x bands again dropped by about a half to nine percent so the rough numbers are similar to the daily data as well so filtering continues to be effective using the bands even at the very short five minute chart level here we summarize how fema responds to volatility when volatility increases the ema parameters are fixed but fema downshifts to a shorter length and a shorter offset when volatility decreases the ema parameters are fixed but fema upshifts to a longer length and a longer offset FEMA bands move counter to EMA bands when volatility increases. EMA bands are wider, but FEMA bands are narrower. When volatility decreases, EMA bands are narrower, but FEMA bands are wider. So you can take advantage of that. So this chart summarizes the filtering effect of bands. The actual data are for SPY and this is a generalization based on my analysis of a number of charts with a 1x multiplier about 50 percent plus or minus 10 percent of the bars are fully outside the band i.e the low is above the upper band or the high is below the lower band with a 2x filter this drops to about 30 percent plus or minus 5 percent and with the 3x filter, it drops to about 10% plus or minus 3%. So filtering is a powerful force that you can use to focus your trading strategies.